on to the state of Florida and a Republican ad for you that caught our eye that's running in the state. Governor Rick Scott's cutting the red tape, getting government off the backs of businesses. Over a dozen new pro-business initiatives passed by Governor Scott and Republican legislators. Okay, let me tell you the political interpretation in Washington of this spot. And that is you've got two years before you actually would run for re-election. So that the reason this spot is out there is that there is a worry that your approval ratings will be a drag on the Republican ticket this year in the presidential race. Would you like to disabuse well, me of that? Well, he, I mean, I, I think what my job is is to help the state get back to work. And that's why I ran on. And that's, you know, if you look at what we've done this, uh, we've had two sessions so far. We've reduced taxes. We've reduced regulation, and the state's getting busier again. You know, clearly, you know, you know, whoever wins uh, this fall in all races, whether it's a presidential race in Florida or in our other races, uh, or all of our House and Senate is up, is going to depend on a lot about how they perceive the governor and how they perceive what that that adds for talks about what we've done and the Florida Republican Florida legislature because we have majority in both. Why do you run? Why did you run that ad? Well, to get our message out. I mean, we. We have unemployment's dropped considerably. We're at a three-year low. Uh, the, we're talking to companies all the time about uh, getting them to come to Florida. This week, Embraer uh, is adding a research um, um, design center in Florida. Um, 7-Eleven's adding a whole bunch. Uh, a lot of stores in the Jacksonville area came back. They haven't been there for 20 years. It's part of telling our message that Florida is absolutely open for business. We, we should add that your numbers actually have gone up in the approval rating. Uh, you're still sort of below water, as they say, but nonetheless, they've improved. I wanted to ask about the unemployment rate. It is the lowest it's been in three years, 9.6, which right. isn't anything to you know brag home about, but no, nonetheless, it is lower than it's been right. in three years. But then this month, job creation fell, like 36,000 jobs lost in Florida, which is the biggest monthly loss of any state. What happened? Well, you don't, the numbers uh, don't make sense to me. We have uh, 24 workforce boards and we track every month how many jobs they filled. They filled 35,000 jobs. We were at a, at a uh, when I came into office, 568,000 people were in unemployment. Now it's about 360. So we're making progress every month. So I, I know, I never, those numbers, we dropped three tenths of one percent unemployment that month and lost jobs. So I'm not, I'm not sure. Haven't figured that out no. yet. But but you know I assume that it, you know February will be different and we'll see what happens over the year because years because we had a great 2011. Um, let me ask. I want to move you to the Republican race just to get you haven't picked uh, endorsed anyone publicly yet. Do you think it's time? We saw Jeb Bush come out and say Mitt Romney, time to bring uh, the party together. Do you feel that it's time for this Republican race to end? I mean, I, look, I, th I, think it, I think it's great. We're learning more about these candidates every day. Uh, I, think, I think the race is great. I think that if it goes on, we're going to learn more about all the candidates that are up there. Uh, it creates a lot of interest. Uh, the, I, it looks like we'll have a, a nominee by the time of the convention, uh, which, of course, will be in the great state of Florida. Uh, but, you know, I think, I think it's great. It's great they're having a race. But, you know, it, it, all of the figures sort of run against that. When you look at what has happened to Mitt Romney and to Newt Gingrich and to Rick, Sorum, uh, Rick Santorum over the uh, time, it has been that independents who are quite valuable in Florida, as you Very know, valuable. Um, are walking away from these candidates at this point, that this has become damaging to the image of the Republican Party because it's been so fierce. And that the theory being that there has to be some time for making up um, this you know, image deficit. You know what I think? I think the election is going to be about one issue. Tell me what the job picture is going to be. Whoever's got, whoever has a plan that the American public believes is going to, I won my race because they had, believed I had a jobs plan. That's, that's why I run. I won. That's who's going to win this fall. Whoever has a, in, when you go to the ballot, you're going to say, who's going to make sure that there's a greater chance I'm going to have a job next year? That's, that's who's going to win. And I believe, I believe the Republican nominee will be that, but you know, whoever, that's what they're going to have to do. I'm glad that now I'm talking about jobs. I don't think they talked about jobs enough in the early primaries. There was a lot of other issues. This is about jobs. In our state, it's education for your child, it's jobs, and keep the cost of living low. That's what's important. So can I just extrapolate from that? We are seeing improving economic figures in your state, but nationwide, that certainly is going to benefit the president this fall. Absolutely. Um, but in the end, it's going to be, tell me wh what you're going to do to make sure that our country is the number one place in the world to build businesses. That's how you get a job. I'm doing that in Florida. We're going to make sure Florida is the number one place in this country if you want to build a business. At least I know you'll have, have activity in August. You're going to be busy. Thank you so much, Governor Rick Scott.